As the verdict approaches for Darren Wilson, the Ferguson, Missouri police officer who shot and killed 18-year-old Michael Brown, the city continues to protest what they argue to be an unfair, trigger-happy police force and a war zone reaction to civilian protests. Unfortunately, this is far from the first time we've heard this story in America. Los Angeles, 1991. Rodney King, a 25-year-old black man, refuses to pull over after he's flagged for speeding. After a high-speed chase, four police officers surround him and severely beat him. Security footage sparks mass public outrage. Despite that, all four officers are acquitted of excessive force charges and residents riot in South Central LA, causing millions of dollars in damage, thousands of injuries, and 53 deaths. New York, 2006. Sean Bell is drunk at his bachelor party. After an altercation outside a nightclub is misinterpreted by police, Bell and two friends are shot 50 times, killing Bell and severely injuring the others. Oh, Sean Bell, NYPD, Mass protests follow, and despite outcry, all officers tried for the shooting are acquitted. San Francisco, 2009. Oscar Grant is involved in a drunk scuffle on a BART train late on New Year's night. Police respond and detain Grant and several friends. An unarmed Grant resists his subduer despite being kept prone. An officer on the scene shoots him in the back in front of dozens of witnesses, some of whom are videotaping the incident. Grant dies in the hospital a few hours later. The community immediately galvanizes to demonstrate against the police's conduct. The officer serves two years in prison and is now out on parole. The events inspire the 2013 film Fruitvale Station. Sanford, Florida, 2012. 17-year-old Trayvon Martin is walking home from a convenience.